What simple action always makes you want to punch someone? People who pause to do something immediately after walking through a doorway. Or gather in a doorway to have a conversation. Really? Or narrow aisles or hallways. I was trying to get through the Disney store today to look for some Christmas gifts. A group of three young women decided the aisle where you first walk in the store was the ideal place to spread out, talk, and one was even dancing around. All totally oblivious that there were in fact other people around who needed to get by. People intentionally not moving aside when walking in opposite directions. Like grow the fuck up dude. Don't try to flex like you don't see me coming to. Slide to the right. Slide to the left freeze, everybody clap your hands. Or people three wide and it takes up the whole path. I just fucking walk into someone at this point. You saw me coming fuck off. People who ignore elevator etiquette, crowding the door before people have a chance to get out, and getting on the elevator before other people who were waiting first. This. Except it's people on the subway, then they get mad at you for knocking them out out of the way to get off the train. I'm getting off this train before you get on whether you're in the way or not. I've walked out of an elevator and ended up chest to chest with someone trying to get on. I just keep walking. Loudspeaker slash music from some pess of fucks phone on public transport. I also like to join in on loudspeaker convos just for the fun of it. The hero we all deserve, putting their neck out to interrupt public speaker phone calls. Any loud person on transport in general. Cutting in front of me and then walking really slowly. Time is money, goon. This but wild driving. There were no cars behind me, so why did they feel the need to pull right out into my lane and not press the accelerator? In a similar vein, using your brakes on the freeway on ramp. Sure, let's merge into 70 miles per hour plus traffic doing 30 miles per hour. People who come to a complete stop in a doorway. I just walk into them usually. Strangers who touch me or have no sense of private space, don't do that please. I really don't like being touched and I really don't want to feel your breath in my neck at the counter of the supermarket. I was getting a burrito once and this man and his preteen daughter were in line behind me. The dad was standing way too close so I moved away. He immediately moved closer. Repeat several times. I had to stick one leg out and lean on the other to get my body far enough away from him to breathe while using the sticky leg as a more polite version of holding my arm out to keep him at a reasonable distance. The burrito place was not crowded. Stay away from me, dude. Yes. I've had someone put an arm around my waist in a pub and I had no idea who they were. I slowly slipped away from them. Don't touch me if I don't know you, please. Parents who allow their children slash teen to play electronic devices out loud in public spaces. Seriously, what's with that? We don't want to hear music, video games, etc. Save that for your house. One time I had to kick someone out of a movie, I am a manager, because they were letting their kid watch a different movie on their iPad at full volume. The movie they were watching was a kid's movie as well. They didn't understand what the problem was and kept telling me the kid was just a baby GTFO this isn't your house. This, except fully grown adults who do this. WTF is wrong with them? They are everywhere these days. Yanking my earbud out of my ear. At my last office job I had a superior that did that instead of just tapping me on the shoulder like a normal person. It's enraging enough accidentally doing it myself, but having someone do it to you takes it to another level. Why is having an earbud ripped out by a snack cord the most irritating thing in the world? I are generally super chill, almost to a fault, but the moment I snag my cord and rip out an earbud I am ready to revenge kill my grandmother. I can't figure it out. My family has been in NYC to celebrate Christmas. Not even 15 minutes after we landed, some prick yanks the earbuds out of my little sister's ears and yells at her to get out of the way while we were waiting for our luggage. She's 11. This is her first time in the city and that experience really trashed her mood for this trip. The worst part is it wasn't even that crowded. 
The lady had space to just walk around. Who the fuck does that? Staring at their phone while I'm trying to have a conversation with them. My roommate. He opens with I fucking hate underscore and then the second I'm like well that's harsh dude what about. And he's typing on his phone 5 minutes later I'm making grilled cheese and I'm like yo you want one? No response. I'm like last call dude and he's not responding on his phone. His loss. I make myself one. He then goes oh shit dude you didn't make me one and then I'm shamelessly like you deaf as fuck or something. People who try some of my food without asking first. Joey doesn't share food. Depends who the person is, family member slash good friend or just a co-worker. If it's someone who is calls to me sure but some random dudes are. People who speak loudly slash kick my chair during a movie. That and people who use their phone at full brightness. I'm down for punching these people even outside a movie venue. The dude behind me at a coffee shop is repeatedly kicking the booth wall we share. Should I do it? Should I punch him? People who cough slash sneeze without covering their mouth. People who chew with their mouth open. My fucking 14 year old friends chew with their mouth open and like, you were supposed to stop in kindergarten. Or when you tell them to cover their mouth, they cough slash sneeze into their palm. No. When people wake me up from a great dream or just a great sleep in general. Sleep interruption is actually very stressful on a physical level and can seriously affect your health. Punch them anyway and tell them you had a bad dream. When people don't use their blinkers. Also, when people ride my ass or drive too slow. Fuck it. People that drive. I want to punch them all. Pass that bottle and keep preaching. Oh, you're turning? Wish there was a way to indicate that. I'm sorry I'm driving 5 miles over the speed limit. Is that not fast enough for you? Are you seriously going to merge into the freeway going 35 miles per hour? Reckless driving, or needlessly taking up more than one parking space, especially when there aren't many places left to park. When I see someone who parked over the line, I'll intentionally park on their driver's side, well within the limits of my spot. If there's not enough room for them to open their door, guess whose fault that is? People who are walking super slowly in front of me. When someone talks a lot without actually saying anything. Even worse, when you know they are fully aware of it, and they know I'm fully aware of it and they still do it and waste time. ADHD be like that sometimes. Being rude to service slash retail workers. Especially those who have done that job in the past and know how shitty of a job it can be. Yes I'm a server and I deal with idiots on the daily. If there's something wrong with their food they act like I was cooking it. I work at a seafood boil restaurant and sometime your boil bag is missing a corner or they're complaining it hot when the customers wanted that spice level. Crawfish is not in season so my restaurant have frozen crawfish instead. I have bunch of people asking me what does that mean? Do we serve it cold? Are you fucking kidding me? Of course it's going to be steaming hot. When I go to the far end of an empty bathroom to use a stall, and then the next person that comes and chooses the stall next to mine despite there being 10 empty ones closer to the door. This but with urinals. At my school there aren't dividers so unless you wanna pee next to someone you gotta awkwardly wait for them to finish peeing, or use the tiny urinal. Bullying people who can't defend themselves. Edit, people are saying bullying in general should be my answer. Yes, all bullying sucks. But not all bullying makes me want to be violent. Bullying people who can't defend themselves does. Conversely, bullies with physical or very minor mental disabilities that don't affect them that much who use them as excuses to be assholes, then play the you're bullying a cripple card when you tell them to quit stealing from other people's lunches and whatever. Knew a kid in a wheelchair who was a total dickhead to everyone, cried bully when we told him we didn't want him at our table. Hey welcome to my childhood. Fun times. Chewing loudly. 
Schmeck Schmuck MMMMRA Champ PH Squench Squatch Wish Care Schleck Squat Pish Gate Jar MMM Fifi Freely Tate Tish Luch Quick McNow. On a similar note, people making too many exclamations sounds while eating. Once is bearable. Repetitive ones make my blood boil. People who do nothing but expect everything. So most people then. Repeatedly and openly insulting slash trying to start a fight with someone. Toxic stuff. If you punch them for it, I think it's working. Subscribe for more hot reddit takes in your inbox.